soulmates and welcome back to our channel for those of you who are new i'm claudia and today we are bringing you a video of a food tour in whistler bc canada so our number one question always when we travel is okay like where what did you do but also where did you eat so we love making these kinds of videos to show you guys exactly what we ate and where our first restaurant is the brickworks pub this place is definitely a hidden gem with a huge selection of beers, wine, and gin. Their menu is very well thought out and features high quality pub dishes. We started out by trying out their It's a Berry Good Time cocktail which has a ginger infused rum, blackberry liqueur, lime, and soda. We also tried their Ungava gin and tonic with mint. For appetizers we got the roasted veg tartare and the cod cakes. As an entree, we shared the Portobello Vegetarian Burger. Alright, final thoughts here at Brickworks. I honestly can say that this exceeded my expectations by a lot. Um, everything that we had was incredibly good, starting from the appetizers all the way to the burger that we had. Absolutely, yeah. The, the veggie burger was phenomenal. Like, yes. I highly recommend the sauces on all the dishes really were outstanding like yes. i would highly recommend it's always nice to see a restaurant go uh, above and beyond for their vegetarian dishes because usually they only have a couple and sometimes they can be pretty standard but that wasn't the case here they were incredible and also the cod cakes that we had to start so good they yes. were so crunchy perfectly cooked full of flavor and sometimes what worries me about ordering like some sort of seafood cake is that they tend to be really salty and these ones were not and whatever the the horseradish aioli that it had on top oh my god it just makes the whole dish <laughs> yeah, I had a little side salad of avocado I think arugula yeah it was arugula. and some tomatoes with the whole with the uh, sauce like drizzled over everything and it just the dish was absolutely amazing overall are a little different right now due to COVID so as you would have seen me ordering like you just literally go up to the door you order and you can't go past that point so everything is also to go because of that so what we ordered is a little bit of sweets and a little bit of savory and some coffee so we've only received the sweets so far and we have a butter tart I'm gonna try my best to show you guys what it looks like it's like that and then we have a cinnamon cream bun. So it's like a cinnamon bread and I'm guessing it's stuffed with some sort of custard cream or something like that. And it looks so good. One of the things I did notice from the bakery is that everything was like a good size. Nothing is like super itty bitty small. Um, so I'm excited to try these. They look so good and we should be getting our savory sandwich and our coffee soon. came to the car to eat our sandwich because it was freezing out there and there was nowhere to sit um, but basically they just like cut it in half so we have like two pieces of their pizza sandwich which is like pizza sauce I see a little bit of basil some cheese um, this is like dense you guys so you shouldn't be hungry if you eat one of these and then I also wanted to show you like this is their 
um, the size of the coffee. It was a little smaller than what I expected, but it's definitely quality. We've tried the, we ordered two cappuccinos and they're really, really good. All right, so quickly final thoughts um, before we have to go. You guys, I completely understand why the locals rave about this place and why there was a huge lineup. We waited around half an hour to take like to get our order not to get our order but to order and uh i completely get why like there's such a huge variety of breads of pastries of cakes just like everything you kind of just like go there and you kind of are like overwhelmed with like all the different things you can order they have a good vegan selection they have scones they have um all kinds of like savory sandwiches that have like bacon and other stuffs that you can get for breakfast and uh, the coffee was super delicious we are very happy with the coffee and you guys the sandwich was so good it was just like so much melted cheese and it had like such a good spice to the pizza sauce that it was like very flavorful um, so all in all you have to check it out but just make sure you allow some time in case there is a lineup when you get there um, that you're not rushed like we were today yeah, definitely come in advance because there is a line even when we left the line was getting longer yes every time so I completely understand that it was everything was insanely good amazing quality yes we will yeah. be back to try some of their other stuff Absolutely. maybe later today <laughs> maybe Our next stop is the Mexican Corner. We were so excited to visit this restaurant because stepping in is like transporting straight to Mexico. With vibrant colors on the walls and authentic art and decor, you suddenly step right into an amazing ambiance. The dishes are influenced from Aztec and Mayan times to the Hispanic era to current times, all infused into one menu. To drink, we ordered the fresa and mango passion fruit margaritas. As a starter, we ordered the tuna tostadas, which was highly recommended by our server. As entrees, we couldn't decide between the enchiladas verdes or rojas, so the chef added both on the dish and decorated it as the Mexican flag. We also tried the tacos de pescado, which were some of the best tacos we have ever had. So we are heading out from the Mexican corner and we just wanted to give you final thoughts because the food here was so amazing. Um, I can't say enough because you guys have to come and try it for yourself. What stood out to us the most was our starter, the tuna tostadas, and then what from the entrees that we had, we really, really liked the fish tacos. The flavor on those were so good. And the margaritas were both really good. The mango one had more flavor to it, so it did didn't taste as strong as the strawberry one that we had so it just kind of depends what your favorite flavor is but they were both super delicious and refreshing to accompany your meal Village. So this place has so many different restaurants, but we've heard so many good things about this one. Um, so basically they're known for European comfort food and we're just going to kind of do like a tasting menu kind of thing tonight so that we can try a whole bunch of different things and give you guys our thoughts on what we think. Our starters and drinks came all at once, so I'll just quickly give you a rundown of everything that we're going to be trying. So their most popular cocktail is their sangria, which we opted for the white wine sangria, and that's just our preference. And then she also recommended the elderflower spritz, so we're super excited to be trying those. And then moving on to the starters, we have three different ones. So we have the calamari, then we have a poke bowl, we have the ricotta and sourdough starter, as well as their 
chorizo uh, appetizer, which is actually a boiled, hard boiled egg surrounded, like wrapped in chorizo. So it all looks really, really good. So we got so many appetizers that we're only going to be trying two of their entrees. So we've heard amazing things both about their pasta and pizza. So we thought we'd try one of each. The first pizza that we're going to be trying is their truffle pizza. And oh my god, you guys, it smells so good. And then the pasta that we're going to be trying is their pesto tagliata. We just finished everything. Well, we technically didn't finish everything because it was so much food, but we finished trying everything. And our absolute must tries are the calamari, the poke bowl, which is actually a special and they don't have it on all the time, unfortunately. But if they do have it on the menu, make sure that you guys ask for it because, oh my goodness, it was good. And in terms of the entrees that we got, the pesto tagliatel was also amazing. So those were our absolute favorites. So after we thought we were done eating, we actually got two desserts. Um, so super excited to try them. The first one is going to be an apple tart and it comes with vanilla ice cream on top and drizzled in a caramel sauce. And then the second dessert is actually a white chocolate coconut cheesecake and it's topped with berries and they both look incredible. So this morning we decided to come do a brunch since we decided to sleep in uh, a little bit later and we're going to check out Stone's Edge and they have a beautiful patio with bright yellow umbrellas which I love and I love that they have this like optional seating where you can have a little fireplace and enjoy like a couch more comfortable seating rather than just like a stool and a table. So we just got our food and we're going to be trying the avocado toast. So it comes with bread, avocado, cherry tomatoes, and two, two eggs, I believe. And some sesame seeds that it comes with potatoes on the side. And then we are also going to be trying their croissants, which come with a side of butter and jam. Final thoughts on our food here. I thought everything was really delicious. This has been uh, one of the best brunch meals that we've had. The avocado toast was super flavorful. I felt the poached eggs were perfectly cooked and that sesame seeds that they had on top really added just like an, a, I don't know, like a really special flavor just to combine the whole dish. The potatoes also perfectly cooked, perfectly salted. I really enjoyed them. And what I really liked is that it actually had a mix of potatoes. It had yam, sweet potato, and regular potatoes rather than just one kind. So that made it really fun. And then the croissants were flaky, buttery, and the jam was really, really good. And it just tied to make the dish a little bit sweet. And it was just really good. So tonight for dinner, we are at Splits Grill. And we are so excited to be here because we keep hearing over and over again that these are the best burgers in town so basically how it works is you walk in and you place your order right away and then you just find seating wherever so we came out to the patio because it's a beautiful day out and then you get a lovely number card and then they bring out the food to your table So as a drink, because I've heard so many great things about their milkshakes, I decided to try uh, one of their shakes. And basically you can choose the flavor of whatever ice cream they have at the front. And I chose cookies and cream. So our burgers just arrived. Now I'm going to be trying the Smokehouse, which is one of their most popular burgers. And what I really liked about this place is that you can pick your own bun. You can pick, pick your own protein. So it's very customizable or you can make make it your own entirely so I want to go with one of the most popular ones because I'm guessing it's probably really good um, and it's basically like a barbecue protein 
um, I chose to sub out the beef for chicken and then it has veggies and a coleslaw on top and then it comes with fries on the side if you make it a meal and then we're also going to be trying the hippie burger which is a vegetarian option which you can also make any of their burgers vegetarian and it's a lentil based patty with a bunch of vegetables Final thoughts at Splits. Uh, we are so happy with the burgers that we had. They were absolutely delicious. My favorite one was the Smoke Show because it had a combination of barbecue sauce with mayo. It was saucy, just how I like my burgers. And the overall, like it was just a bunch of flavor and I really like the coleslaw on it because it added a bit of crunch. Overall, very good and I love the sesame bun as well. One note to make about the fries is that they were not greasy, which I always look for when I'm having food like this. And they were really good. The quantities were large. Um, so that was really good in that aspect. The hippie burger was also great. I really like the avocado and the hummus in it. Um, I recommend that you guys either make your own or try any of the ones that they have laid out in their menu. I'm going to be trying their non-vegan breakfast sandwich. So basically what makes it not vegan is the eggs and cheese on this one, which you can opt out if you don't want to go that route. But it's basically just a bunch of veggies and then the egg and the cheese. And then we're also going to be trying the ramen, which you can customize if you want your choice of protein. Um, so something that I've noticed is that their dishes are fairly customizable, which is always great. All right, so just finished trying everything here at the Naked Sprout and we were just so impressed with the variety of food that they have and it was so great to eat something healthier, lighter, instead of always eating something super heavy. Um, so this was a great option. The service was phenomenal as well as very quick. So we didn't spend a lot of time here. So if you have a busy day, this is a great stop here at Whistler Village. So it's like super convenient location and uh, eat something healthy. So today for breakfast, we decided to do something a little different and we always love doing this when we're traveling and it's actually have ice cream for breakfast. So today we're still feeling a little full from last night. So we thought it was a great day to do this and we decided to check out Lucia Gelato, which is like right underneath the Mexican corner and it looks so, so good. Okay, 
so I decided to go with the salted caramel and the espresso coffee since I'm a huge coffee fan. Coffee in any form I will absolutely love. I'm super excited to try it. It's huge. It's massive. I didn't think they would be this big. Like the scoops are like the size of my fist. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely a great quantity if you want to come and try. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wanted to show it to you guys before I started licking this because it is a super hot day and it is already melting all over my hand. Um, but basically I chose a cone as well with two flavors. So the one on top is a raspberry yogurt, which they actually named uh, the breakfast parfait because it's like yogurt, raspberries, and it actually has granola chunks in it. So it adds that like extra texture as you're like eating the ice cream and I'm absolutely loving that. And then I chose to put vanilla underneath it. Final thoughts here, the ice cream was so, so good. I highly recommend you guys come check out their flavors. They have a good variety and unique ones. Uh, my favorite was still the parfait. I thought it was so good and I've never seen an ice cream that has uh, granola in it. So it really gave it that really good crunch and uh, it just made it really different for me. Um, one thing I did want to note before I let you guys go is that this is actually a pop-up shop so they are only here for three months and then they're going to be a food truck or they distribute their ice cream. Alright, so made so for dinner we are here at La Cantina which is also in Whistler Village and I guess most restaurants are here because most of them that we've visited are have all been here so far. Um, so we're sitting in the patio. We got lucky that there was a table. Sitting is kind of limited everywhere that we go because of COVID. So um, basically you go up to the till and you order. I was going to film in there just to kind of show you guys what the space would normally look like but everything was so hectic. There's like people waiting to order so I didn't want to hold up the line. Um, so I guess I'll just show you what I ordered. I'm going to be trying three different tacos and the quesadilla and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. over ordered <laughs> I didn't realize the food quantities were going to be so large um, but that means I get to try more and tell you guys what I think about it so I'm going to be trying three different tacos and what I loved about ordering here is that you actually order per taco so you can try a whole bunch of different ones which is exactly what I'm going to be doing so the first one is actually like a Mexican rice with beans then I'm going to be trying the chicken one which are always my favorite and I love trying them and then the fish tacos which I also love um, and so I'm excited to try that because it is fried in batter which is my favorite way to have fish tacos and then we're going to be trying the poblano pepper quesadilla and this is why I think I over ordered you guys because like I did not expect it to be this size um, so definitely good value for your money when you come here because that is a lot of food um, I think this all costs like 20 something dollars so I thought that was pretty good and I also ordered a drink um, and then Andrea is going to be trying jackfruit and poblano peppers, which are, are two of their vegetarian um, tacos, which they actually had more. Um, good selection for vegetarian options, and I think they also had a vegan option. So we didn't film a review because we were so cold, um, but otherwise, really good tacos. What I liked about it was that it's kind of another quick option for you guys if you are in a rush and want some really good Mexican food. Um, they were all really, really good in my opinion. The ones that stood out to me the most were the poblano peppers quesadillas. Those were to die for. And actually, I only ordered them because the lady that works there raved about them and she was right absolutely one of my favorite things that i tried and in terms of the three tacos my favorite were the fish tacos the fish was so crispy and the sauce was a little bit spicy which i loved um so those were our favorites